testing blood glucose and blood ketone. Wash hands with soap and warm water. Rinse and dry thoroughly. Obtain a capillary blood sample using a lancet. A minimum volume of 0.4 microliters is required for a blood glucose test and 0.5 microliters for a blood beta ketone test. If using a single-use safety lancet, please refer to the manufacturer's instructions. If using the CareSense lancing device, please take note of the following. The lancing device is for use by a single user only and should not be shared with anyone. To avoid infection, always use a new sterile lancet and keep the lancing device clean. Use a soft cloth or tissue to wipe the lancing device. If necessary, a small amount of alcohol on a soft cloth or tissue may be used. Unscrew and remove the lancing device tip. Firmly insert a new lancet into the lancet holder. Hold the lancet firmly and gently twist to pull off the protective disc. You can save the disc to recap the lancet after use. Replace lancing device tip. Turn the adjustable tip until it is aligned with the load confirmation window and release button. The lancing device has seven depth settings, numbered one, shallow, through to seven, deepest. The depth required will vary and depend on the person and sample site. Adjust the depth to obtain an adequate sample. Choose a depth by rotating the top portion of the adjustable tip until the desired number aligns with the arrow. To cock the lancing device, hold the body of the lancing device with one hand and pull the sliding barrel with the other hand. The device is loaded when you feel a click and the load confirmation window turns red. Remove a test strip taking care not to touch the bottom narrow end of the test strip. Ensure you close the lid on the glucose test strip vial. Beta ketone test strips are individually wrapped. Insert a test strip with the writing facing upwards and the square black and white end into the meter test strip port. Push the strip in gently until the meter beeps. Be careful not to bend the test strip. The flashing drop symbol will appear on the screen. Ketone will be displayed if you inserted a KetoSense test strip. Place the device against the pad of the finger. The best puncture sites are on the middle or ring fingers. Alternative site testing may be performed for glucose testing only. Refer to the user manual for more information. Press the release button and remove the device from the finger. Wait a few seconds for a blood drop to form. Place the narrow end of the test strip vertically into the blood sample and hold until the meter beeps. On the screen, the display segments will rotate, the meter will count down and the result will appear. For blood glucose test results, the meter will count down from five to one. For blood beta ketone test results, the meter will count down from eight to one. Record the result. The result will be automatically stored in the meter's memory. The meter displays blood glucose results between 1.1 to 33.3 millimole per litre and blood beta ketone results between 0.1 to 8.0 millimole per litre. High message will appear instead of a result when the blood glucose test result is greater than 33.3 millimole per litre Blood beta ketone test result is greater than 8.0 millimole per litre. Low message will appear instead of a result when the blood glucose test result is less than 1.1 millimole per litre. When a blood beta ketone test result is less than 0.1 millimole per litre, a result of 0.0 millimole per litre will appear. If the hypoglycemia indicator is on, a blinking low warning will appear in the bottom left corner any time the test result is lower than the set indicator level. If the hyperglycemia indicator is on, a blinking high warning will appear in the bottom right corner any time the test result is higher than the set indicator level. 
The ketone symbol will blink three times when the blood glucose result is higher than 13.3 millimol per litre. Remove the test strip using the strip ejector button and the meter will automatically switch off after three seconds. Discard the used test strip appropriately. When you remove the test strip, the result will be stored in the meter. And if connected to your smartphone, the meter will send the result to your smartphone automatically. After completing the test, unscrew and remove the lancing device tip. If you wish, you can press the lancet into the protective disc. Hold the lancing device over the Sharps disposal container. Push the lancet ejector button forward and the lancet will be expelled from the device. The lancet is for single use only. Never share a lancet. Screw the lancing device tip back onto the CareSense lancing device. Keep the lancing device clean.